Right, now for the moment of truth. We'll find out whether I did a good enough job or not. Uh. There we go. Doesn't look too bad, actually. I'm quite pleased with that. Just looking at that, I don't even think it needs any fiberglass whatsoever. I'm going to do it anyway, but I think it probably would be fine on its own. Uh, so what I'm going to do is sand it down, because it is a bit where I put the cloth on and it's crumpled up a little bit. It's a bit of a hole there. Um, so I'll sand that down and then I'll put a bit of glass over the top and we'll see what happens. At the moment this is going a lot better than I thought it would. It's quite smooth now. Didn't take me long to get to that. And to be honest, I think I'm ready to put some glass over the top. I'm just going to clean it up with some acetone first. And then um, it'll be the same process as yesterday when I mixed up the uh, epoxy. Um, and then we'll have a bit of trial and error on doing a bit of fiberglassing. I started just by putting a layer of epoxy on before I put a, a, a sheet of glass on. Um, I've then placed a dry sheet of glass on top and then I've dabbed some epoxy on top. Rather than using brush strokes, um, I dabbed it on because if you tr start trying to use brush strokes, it just moves it about and makes your life a lot harder. I've done four layers in total. And the reason for four is because that sounds about right to me. So the point is you put the sheet on as I'm doing now. Uh, I've just smoothed it on a little bit. And then you just dab it until it's soaked through. And once it's entirely soaked through, I've then gone and I did the next layer on as well. I wasn't sure if you're supposed to wait a period of time before you put the next layer on. I thought I'll just do it and we'll see what it turns out like. So you may have noticed I might not always be very particular about how I do things. And the reason for that is because this is the first time I've done anything like this. And you learn by doing it at the end of the day. I, um, I used to work in engineering. Um, so I'm just going off the back of that really. And at the end of the day, the more I learn, the more I'll be able to do in the next bye bye.
all I'm doing here is just using the leftover epoxy just to fill in a few of the other holes I've got. The last thing to do is just put a bit of peel ply over the top like we did yesterday. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of tape just to hold it on in the wind but I don't think you really need to. And that's about it. I can't wait until I've finished the outside of the boat because I've got the state of it in there. Absolute tip. But I just feel like I need to finish the outside before I can start the inside. There's no point really in doing that because I can't get it on the water until the outside is done. So that's my motivation. And then I can't wait to get the jet washer down and clear all that up. Happy days. That's me all done for now. Put the pill ply over, just like I did yesterday. And it looks good. There are a few little um, ribs in there, but I'll sand them now, it's fine. And in other news, I have finished some sanding today. I've just done that little cove, quickly gone over it. And I am now ready to paint the bottom of my boat. And I cannot wait to do it. I've just done a, bit, a few of these bits today along the top. Just to even it out. I did start with the um, uh, holes I had here, little bubbles. But it's starting to rain now, so I'm just going to go home. Um, I'll show you the result of my fiberglass repair uh, in my next video. And my next video potentially will be painting the hole. So, that's exciting news.